Oh no, I was just talking about Brahma and uh, okay, in her relationship. I, oh, okay, no, I remember the question I wanted to ask because I, I, I actually, I hope I remember this correctly, and I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure the chat knows correctly when I'm, when I'm, when I'm like not on, not on the rails, <laughs> but. When the other, when we were exploring other universes and we saw other versions of characters and blah blah yada yada, but do the primordial gods only exist like once, or do they also exist in all the varying possibilities and timelines? Like, or is there like one version of them? I'm trying to remember because a lot of times when you have like the superior, ultimate, like upper level gods, they set they tend to transcend time and space and stuff. So. They could literally just witness the entire multiverse or go into any timeline, yada, yada, yada. But I can't remember if there's like a Brahma for every possibility, if there are a Vishnu for every possibility, or is there just one Vishnu in general? I'm trying to, I don't, I'm trying to remember that. I know for like the other gods, I'm pretty sure it's not like that. A little something like Eeny, Meeny, rap in the beginning, smoke a little pack, but a pack never timid, church, but I'm seeing it, curse when I'm winning, she need a new back, when it's back, I'm a bend it, slap up some guinea, pass me the hen it, watch a nigga black, so react, I'm a quit it, swerve in the Benzie, perfume is Fendi, bob and move fast, real fast like I'm Ricky, that's cause I'm pretty, came from the dirt, showing up a nigga can't handle the work, ooh, y'all, swing with it first, young white girl like a Right, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, somebody in the comments says you probably know somebody yeah, who needs a lot more, but I'm thinking of like the example of like the Ashi example. Technically, that version of Visnu was not the actual Visnu, he was already gone. He just like had some version of himself go and talk to her. Like, he either left a version or a version jumped in time, but it was still him. Like or some something something to that effect. He did something that was very like unique that only he could do. Mm -hmm. So it's but but yeah, it was like I think there might be like only like I want to say there's only like one version of them, but they kind of remind me of kind of like uh, it, it may not be totally true, but they could be similar to like what a uh, if there's not one version, it kind of could be similar to like what a Nata does or what we see a Nata to kind of do in these chapters okay. is that he's still kind of like aware of everything that is happening okay they have the ability to kind of be everywhere at once okay because they're that strong i think there's one version but they're able to be everywhere okay okay but is that but... so like they could like simultaneously exist at all okay that makes sense yeah 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 yeah, yeah. All right. that makes more sense all right that's good. actually probably more i'll just i'll just, just try to wonder i will because i was trying to i was trying to remember like because did the Kubera of the timeline that was talking with Maruna when Yuta disappeared, is that version gone? Or like, so I was trying to, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. <clears throat> now that we're like fully here and everything. So we met, um, an Enon Ry Ry Rymia, which I believe is a, is a descendant of Thingy, right? Someone, someone has that last name. Is it, is that Rana's last name or was it? <laughs> someone had what, that last what? name, but. Who's last name? It's, it's Ray, like Ray Mia, like R E I M I A. Yes, Ray, Ray, right? Ray. Okay, yeah, Ray, yeah. right? So, this is the first person I think that we uh, that we know that has the, uh, I think the Golden Knight, if I remember correctly, which is very interesting to me. I actually like him so far. I think he's, I think, I think he's been a pretty interesting character. Like he's, he seems to be very confident in his abilities. Like he's talking to Maruna, knowing Maruna because possibly like a superior sir, and he's like cool with it. <laughs> like he's not particularly stressed out, and. Uh, diving into the stuff with him, the, the the knights and the king of humanity, Daksha the sixteenth. I thought all that. I thought all that was really interesting, coming full circle, because like he joined this tournament with the other girl, who like did her invisible spell and went away. And Maruna was like, "You're not. You're like you're not sneaky, bitch. I'm right. <laughs> I'm right here." She didn't even notice. I'm right behind you. You not saw a snake. She invisible. She on her. She going whatever. Whatever. Mar Maruna's literally just walking behind her. She undo the spell. She like, oh, I'm free. Maruna like right. Maruna's like, is this bitch serious? <laughs> I was crying. I don't know what I'm talking. I'm not so funny, but anyways, what do you think of Enon so far? The purple hair dude. Hmm. 
I don't know. I don't have any strong feelings yet. <laughs> you, I probably have to go through. He was bodying. He's oh, he's body. He's body niggas. I'm just like I, I just I like to fuck with his demeanor. And I remember like they said that his his affinity, his define affinity is super low because his Phoenix affinity is high. But then there's something happened where it was actually reversed, and Merlin's like, wait a minute, didn't you just say? Wasn't that that's, that's kind of wrong? But <laughs> <laughs> I like learning about Phoenix magic. That was really cool. Like when he was trying to, trying to explain the various spells, and Merlin's like, I hate magicians. I can't explain anything. Like. In a matter of fact way. You and, see, I felt. I see. Yeah. I felt him when he said that. No, I was. I'm just gonna say I felt it when he said that. Cause I, yeah, I, don't, I hate niggas who talk in riddles and shit like. That. No. Yeah, and Nanra. Yeah, I like him. I like him. He, he, he's moving me. I won't. I won't hold you. He's moving me. I, th I think he's interesting. Uh, and knowing that he's a um an ancestor. I said. I think. I think. I think I said descendant first. That wait. Did I say he's a descendant of Rana? I meant to say Rana's a descendant of him. My fault. But there's a high possibility that he's using Phoenix magic in the guise of the Golden Knight. Oh. Okay, because that was because I I found that to be pretty pretty cool, and we we, we could talk about this now. Like, how, how do you like like how do you think about Phoenix Magic being being like a contract connected to Asura, who could at any moment be like fuck you or just come down and do what they're doing? Like, I'm with you in the sense that like I don't mess with Daksha and what he did and stuff, but like I would probably not mess with Phoenix Magic. I don't know if I would try to abolish it completely and just only use Define, but I would at least try to stymie it, mitigate right, it. Right, 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 right. Like, every, hey, 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 cut that out. I mean, like, I, I understand why you would turn away from Phoenix Magic, because, like, the whole relationship between it, man, she is so good at making all this shit so complex, because, yeah. good lord, why would I even want Magic <laughs> with the Sura? First of all, they don't like us. Yeah. They don't think nothing good about us. What would it? I would, uh, from my perception, there would be no positive of of getting magic from Asura after what they did. Like, the, with, it, like, bro, I can't win with y'all. Like, if I if I if I use the magic, it's probably to your benefit, or it's gonna benefit you in the long run. Mm -hmm. I don't use your magic no more. Now you have an excuse to destroy us or be yep. mad at us. It's like, bro, I can't win with y'all. So no, I don't want any of it. I don't even want to start this. Road. Turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So wait, there's high possibility to increase magic in the guise of the Golden Knight. The Golden Knight translates likely translates likely Phoenix magic to the divine one, so Lee's must be good there too. Using Earth attribute for the Nana to to imitate the Golden Knight's Earth magic. Sorry, if Phoenix magic to the divine one. I actually probably didn't. I probably didn't notice that then, because even in my live reaction, I, I mentioned nothing about him probably turning Phoenix magic into divine magic through the Golden Knight and use, and kind of using Anata's Earth actually because he's Earth, right? He's triple Earth too, right? Everybody. Or fake triple Earth. I can't even remember. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. Lisa's. She's Kubera, 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 based on how she's born. Because how you're born there dictates whatever. But with Sura magic and stuff, it's completely different, right? So it's not. It's not. Mm. It's only based on how you're born. And what times you're born and stuff because wasn't asha's all different <laughs> yeah hers is like way like way different yeah. like, it don't make no sense yeah hers is like completely different and stuff but that stuff is really cool like i i i, I was enjoying like Smurr's like i'll be fine in the tournament like it's not a big deal like I, I, i'll work these niggas and then you saw some magic he's like wait okay, you want to just explain to me if you finish magic real quick he got his book out and he's like i don't know these niggas my phone <laughs> And then after Curry got to the comment at the end was like Marina was happy that the tournament was um was abolished and canceled. What do you think about the like extreme like like the the blatant like obviously we know how halves and whatnot are treated here, but like to separate the two tournaments the way that they do so like you know division segregation or whatever, and then to just be like you know what F it even if you even if you're just a quarter only pure, pure blood magicians get that get the halves and quarters out of here whatnot because what I thought was what interesting about this was that it was still like no you guys are allowed to be around you can be in the vicinity or whatever but understand that you are going to be treated as a lesser citizen and like to me it's like why would I stay here why would I be yeah. involved I kind, of, I kind of found it interesting because I didn't think he would cancel the tournament that way, but apparently Daksha had some like vision or whatever. What do you, what are your, what are your general thoughts on the uh, king of hum, king of humanity? He's a shit bozo, goofy. A little, a little bit, a little bit, but I'm a, I'm gonna give him some time though. I'm gonna give him some time, but yeah, right now I'm not, I'm not rocking with this man. You do, do better. Yeah, cause he, cause he, he, him like. 
Well, apparently they they chose death instead of abandoning Phoenix Magic because they were actually truly afraid of what um, the servos would do if they tried to cancel it, and and on and kind of speaks about it. But what do you think about the whole sins talk that like they're trying to like have with him? Because that girl who was on her fake solid snake gimmick, like sneaking around with her invisibility invisib cloak spell. She's talking about after death because humans are all equal in one thing when they die. The punishment comes after the fact. Does she know more than that she's letting on for some reason? Yeah, I, th I think she does. I definitely, definitely would not. Chat, be what's her name? No reason. Do we know her name? Sorry, because I'm just calling her the Stall Snake Bitch. I don't know her name. <laughs> <laughs> help, I didn't realize that. Help, yeah. help me. <laughs> I don't remember her name. Help me. Oh. Somebody, please. I don't. I don't know either. Cause I'm, I'm. I'm looking back through the chapter right now, just because I have to go look now again. Cause now I'm like, man, we don't know these people's names. This what happens when you read on a week by week basis. Yeah, but I'm uh, also bad with. I'm just bad with names. Uh, he got visions or oracle from in from Indra, so he done. So no, he done goofed up. No, I don't think we do. Okay. So we do okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cause I think that she probably has a high level of intrigue and interest in the same degree that um that uh Inan has i think she could be more important i know she, i know part of her family is part of the knights and everything too so we'll see what happens with that but um this yeah that, the, the, the research has been really really interesting i i think this arc is going to shape up to be really cool when i think anata properly properly gets it prop properly jesus christ I properly gets involved he's likely injurious to him but he did goof up okay that makes sense because uh ah <sighs> injura did injura did injura snapping when he's the, the dawn of my sky is gone did he did he, him going crazy did that shock you yeah because he's normally so i mean they did say though they kind of gave us the warning back back way back when mm -hmm. that like he, that he, he he's scary man that's that's not a guy that you want on your tail or anything like that so like we kind of already knew that he was kind of like fickle i guess that's the best way for me to describe it because it was just like because like kubera then was like hey bro like, listen he that guy he will hawk you down forever <laughs> like guess <laughs> that's what he wants to do so like yeah he's he's scared to me yeah because he he's probably one of the ones like that, that, that we described as like the general god you see like you said like whimsical on a whim kind of do what you want he's the king of them so that like that one panel of them all looking at him like bro are you dead ass like, like would i do that and they're like nigga yes you absolutely would you complete and so i gotta i don't know i love that i love i love this picture like i because because just because like i told you it reminds me of the meme with the white girls with the cup <laughs> just looking back <laughs> <laughs> i'll put it on screen for a quick second but yeah this this one i love this picture this picture makes me laugh every time i look at it i laugh i get a kick out of it just like what is going on uh, did you notice when she used the San Yoga Kinara magic, her form looked like OG Kinara? I absolutely did not. <laughs> I'll be completely transparent. I did not notice. <laughs> I'm going to go back and give it a reread again anyway, because I tend, I tend to reread these arcs um, once they're done. When, like, when, the, when the other side of the story completed, I reread it um, in one sitting. And, and the wait of time. So I'm going I'm to do that. Slightly off topic from, from what you said that, I feel like Curry Gum has really gotten better at these um because i'm going back and looking through this art she's gotten a lot better at like she was always good at expressions mm -hmm. but i think she's taking that to like the next level of just like adding tension to like certain people like when anata sneaks up on present day maruna yeah he buy them just, scary hours like yeah yeah i'm just like he like bro yeah can you move <laughs> yeah terrifying i think it was more mad he was left out and lied to more than being mad about usha oh that makes sense actually based on what he was yeah it to. yeah, it was true. yeah that, that makes sense yeah. he see he's the one that's kind of like child he like, yeah he petty he petty he's a child yeah, like, yeah yeah for sure he embodies that a lot do you i also i also, I also kind of find it interesting a lot of the times with these like because i'm sure you know that this is a lot this is this is um related to like a certain type of mythology right but like in a lot of mythologies mm -hmm. why is a lot of the king of the gods in a lot of ways oh it's the lightning one or thunder one like odin and zeus and stuff i always find that interesting sometimes i think like, because it's it's the sky and the sky's domain is like everything cause, okay. everything like above the heavens and stuff like that are you sure because like the sun like in space bro like <laughs> 
<laughs> what I feel but nice. the sun is like a I very know. it's like specific a it, you know it's very specific yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It. it's a very specific one one uh one track thing mm -hmm. yeah and the sky is like everything above is my domain everything so I'm guessing that's that's because even because even now I'm thinking about it, even a Kateki Hitman Reborn, like the most rare flame is the flame of the sky, and that's usually associated with the boss of whatever group. Your Zanzis, your Suna, your Dino, your Biakudan. That's a I just oh interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up and see if there's actually a deeper meaning behind that. I'm gonna write this down. Mm -mm -mm. Mythology gods. See that because one thing I want to do too is i want to study like not study but you know how like for you know folklore and mythology and stuff we probably have like a really good understanding of like you know i would say probably greek greek mythology a lot like that's the one we really 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 we understand i'm pretty good with norse and things like that but i want to i want to start i want to start studying some other ones that i'm not really good at because this has so many things from like hindu culture and whatnot and I think that if I could up my understanding of the um, mythology behind, like, you know, because like, even Yaksha, like, he's a god from, like, Hindu Hinduism and shit like that. Like, I want to up my knowledge on it so I can speak on them properly and see how she's played with certain, like, gods and whatnot. Because, like, you might, like, read something and it's like, this character is obviously kind of based off Zeus or, or no, a play on a play a play on Zeus because his lightning ability blah blah. So I, I want to know. I that's a part of this that that goes above my head a lot of the times. The same way like in JoJo, I don't get most of the musical references, but I want to be able to understand this in the, on the deepest level that I can. So I'm gonna start looking into it. I want to know if there's like a book or something I can pick up, or I might just have to go online and just start reading the individual gods and what they're about, what their domain is, what they like people pray to them for and things like that so indra is the indra is the king of god in hindu mythos too he is also petty at times and jealous of shiva who's a god of god who's a god of gods okay see i got i need to up my knowledge on that because i'm pretty much norse norse greece a little bit japanese and then i don't know nothing <laughs> yeah <laughs> comes, that's that's how it be that's about that's me that's right it. i i will say i'm getting a little bit better with some of the chinese like mythology and folklore as a result of some of the there's this huge yeah but there's this huge though i think they got the biggest yeah i want to say because i'm because i'm because like legend deification and then like there's like the net there's like neja and all stuff like like neja is starting to become a character that I could recognize just based off the design because there's certain characteristics like the hair and the little like flame wheel and the spear and stuff. Like I'm starting to be able to see certain characters and be like, that's Al Bing. That's Neja. Like I'm starting to get a little better, but my Chinese mythology is coming up, but I want to definitely di dive into the Hinduism a bit more. So Area Vata is Indra's ride, an elephant. Interesting. I heard in, in, in uh, Hindu lore is big. Yeah, I'm not... I don't plan to become an expert in like a day. It might take me an entire year of studying, but I want to supplement my like my analysis with that too, because I want to see what how Kurt Gowns played with it, because I know she knows what she's doing with it. So that was a quick tangent. I just wanted, I just wanted to bring that up real quick. Um, this arc actually starts off with Rana and Chroma, and Rana is about to be like destroyed by like oh venerable time and whatnot, and Ran and Raw Tower are like outside the cave and whatnot. Yeah. That was uh, interesting. Do you have any thoughts on like Chroma and stuff? Because Chroma's like one of the only dragon halflings that we've seen and stuff. So see, I, see, I really, see, I really like that. See, I, I, that that was one of my favorite parts of this arc so far. Mm -hmm. Just him, just existing, his talk with time. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, time was kind of making me laugh, even though he wasn't trying to. You. But he was like, "So y'all tricked me by putting people here." No, I was just like, "Oh, bro, you don't know what's going." On. <laughs> he, just, he just he just destroyed things in front of him. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Area Mata was riding on riding on him an enemy. You see, like that's probably something that I would like if I had a deeper understanding, I would have put that together. Cause that could always. I knew Area Mata was an elephant. I, I knew that. Whatever, which, which is why I always thought. It was but the Canari don't have like elephant forms, or not like not really. Like Chess is like a Pegasus looking thing. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I always thought that was it. But yeah, I don't know much about Indian mythology. That is not. That was not my strong suit. Yeah. I was definitely a Greek and Norse guy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna study up on the on, the, on some of that, Hindu, that, that Hindu lore and everything because I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice one day. I promise. So, uh, do you think that there is gonna be something that happens here 
in the past with Rana and Rana. And even though Rana may not remember later on, it's low key the catalyst for why she likes Ran so much. Yes, I already yeah. think it. I already think part of it already happened. Okay. Him protecting her, because I said, yeah, because I said the way I've learned the way that she's connected everything in this story, because she says she liked basically the kind of way she said it. She kind of liked him before he even liked her, baby, yeah. or basically the same time. But like, she's always like, I've always been paying attention to you. And I'm just like. Now that we going further in the story, I'm just like, okay, well, that that wasn't just like a matter of pure coincidence, because nothing in this story is. Nothing is coincident. Okay. Yeah, so we're on, we're on the same wavelength there. Um, the only really other thing I really have to speak about concerning some of the most recent stuff is just like Anada himself. If you have any 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 thoughts on him or like, do you think he's going to appear? You think, Or do you think we're just going to talk about him a lot? Do you think we're going to transition to Sagara at some point and the rest of his clan? Like, I'm not sure what you're thinking about him because that's the last thing I wrote down here. Like, Wait, Anata? Yes. Oh. The strongest. I, I thought, honestly, like I said, from his first beginning, from his first beginning thing, I thought his personality, look, everything was very interesting. Because mm -hmm. she, <laughs> Curry Gom loves her, her, her feminine, her feminine boys, man. Because <laughs> I'm just like, oh. I'm like, well, I'm like, who is that? Like, when they, and, and I'm like, that's Sonata? Like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> they're gonna be like this big skin. Like, he was, he's probably the only person in the story that I legitimately thought was gonna be like scary. Obviously, he probably could if he wanted to. Yeah. I'm just probably like, surf, like, like surf, 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 case you farm, probably OD big and such. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, I thought he was gonna, yeah, I'm just, just, just run right. He's like, just wearing like a like a shirt, you know. I'm just like I was like, what what is going? On? I'm like, what is, what is going on? There was bro? that so, one picture from him from the back when they're talking about. It. He had some shit on his sleeve or his hand. I'm like, what is he wearing? <laughs> but yeah, that that uh, first and that fit was goofy, probably. Yeah. So and, so, and Sagara being in love with him, honestly, it's kind of scary. But I mean, we should have known for how the link she's willing to go to do all this. Yeah. But like. It really felt like like her her love for him like which is kind of crazy because she's had two other lovers since mm -hmm. but like her love for him was very yonderish like I'm just like I don't even know if you understand the man that you're chasing <laughs> yeah like I like, don't think she does that's the crazy part yeah even with like when she had was it who did she who did who was she holding at one point Ratalia yeah Ratara and even yoinks <laughs> you just talk her like yoinks like uh, yeah. yeah like, you don't know what's but my thing is like he acted like you give can't up on me. Like, he said, can't. "Give up yeah, on me." Yeah. Listen, you said, "Give up on me." Go ahead. Yeah, but but even then, it's like like he's looking at her. He asks her a question. She don't seem to understand. Like she's just trying to like she loves his strength, how strong he is, because clearly the stronger she's in love with that. Mm -hmm. And I think he likes her to some degree. He's like I think he's like oh well you know she means well and like she's beautiful, but like she don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> like 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 he is not any other sewer like and we already seen people who who are not like sewers with the stories but like yeah. he oh. really is like his own being in entirely yeah he don't fit in with the sewers the gods because they're, they're all either adore him or they're all scared of him they scared of him because he's stronger Strong, than the sure. gods mm -hmm. yeah and then the sewers they all look up to their power but it's like he don't he don't want to rule y'all that way. He's not somebody who wants to flex his 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 might around and destroy things. Like, cause like from what I've seen is like a lot of the sewer they like to destroy. They kind of sadistic in nature, this, that, and the other. And but like he not he you know he, he not chilling. man had a lollipop yeah. in his pocket. Like, his yeah, cause you could tell he like Arivata and Yashka, but that's because they're the closest to him. To be honest, yeah. they fit him the most. Cause like. Yeah, Yashka just run around humans. He just like he just chilling. He just like hey, cool, cool, cool. And, it, and he old. <laughs> yeah, and like hold on, uh, Sagra loved him, but he didn't. And she had many lovers to make him jealous, but didn't care. That's literally that meme <laughs> that I just seen the other day. Where it's like, you posted it. You posted it on Instagram. Like I like you, really? Nah, I don't. Okay. Like <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just go <laughs> go back to the game. Like I totally get it. I truly understood Anata was different when Brahma came to him to consult him about ancient human destruction. Okay. What do you find it interesting that they that they created a Nastika like a Sora that's stronger than the fucking gods? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what the whole so, the super whole weird, way, right? Like just yeah, everything. the whole way that she even made this, and just like her even like I said, Brahma even asking them to even do this was already like insane itself. Could, did she have to ask? She didn't have to ask. 
I'm pretty sure Brahma don't have to ask nobody nothing. Mm -hmm. She could have just been like, here's what y'all going to do. <laughs> like, she could have just ran up on them and be like, listen, y'all are going to destroy the humans. Because I said so. Mm -hmm. You got a problem with it? Guess what? There's no other primordial guy here. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one you got to deal with. <laughs> so, so like, but she didn't do that. So that's still, I guess that maybe that's still something to do with the future. It, it looks like she doesn't want to completely fuck with the flow of everything that's supposed to be happening because even for them even for the primordial god maybe they don't have necessarily quote unquote rules mm -hmm. const constricting them but even they are still other than other than Callie herself they're still trying to like follow certain guidelines so even if she felt like maybe she's like even if I you know destroy the ancient humans they weren't gonna be part of the best possible future anyway so fuck them fair so fair. yeah I don't know he was friendly reaction when he saying it's okay, he gets lonely. Anata is that is that strong, he could change the outcome. And then he gets and then he gets tasked or like he I, I guess taxed <laughs> could work, but I really meant like he gets he gets the sin of being the sin of a bystander or, or what was the other what was the other way they phrased it? Um I think one was called the sin of sin of by, being a bystander or bystander or the sin of like not doing yeah, yeah, the or, sin or, of being or, a or difference or difference something like that. Right, 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 right. That that's, all his sins are being weighed against that. He yeah. got a lot of sins because of that. Yeah, because I guess because he's so goddamn powerful, like they said that he could like he, could, yeah, and he know and he knows that he knows him getting it. But he chooses not to. Sin of indifference. There we go. Sin of indifference. He knows yeah. he's the strongest. He could interfere. It's like it's likely a balance of the universe thing. He has to exist in the form. That makes sense. Yeah, because like. A lot of the times when you, it's it's very strange. Like I think my comic book knowledge and like history allows me to understand this stuff very easily because in so many like versions of the Marvel universe and whatnot, they they literally create beings that are that powerful as a part of this cosmic balance that has to happen, where if things that get destroyed, things must be created, but there must it must be fifty fifty. Like I said earlier with DC. You have the Lords of Chaos and you have the Lords of um, of Order. And what's interesting about it is like you have like, like I would argue like Anata is a being, could be like a being you could kind of compare to someone like Galactus. Galactus is not the strongest person, but Galactus is a planet eater. He's a world eater. I'm like, that's bad. That's not good. It's like, no, he's there as part of the grand design of the universe. So the gods work in mysterious ways when they start making niggas like Anata and stuff like that. Because like I, I have to think about him in that sense, but I do think it's, a little unfair because he's so powerful and it could change so much that like he gets tasked with all he gets taxed with all these sins because he's indifferent or doesn't want to go do something because like he probably like doesn't see himself the way that everyone else sees him right like you said Tagara doesn't understand him probably thinks thinks he's strong but look oh he's just this fucking monstrous strong Sura and he's probably just like bro I'm just trying to kick it and eat some candy <laughs> like he's not worried about all that so I, I, i'm interested in him i hope that we actually dive into his character a bit more because he's not alive in the present time right unless he comes back some later on so that'll be cool my theory is that the Prometheus want to create someone who could one day replace him i think they are tired <laughs> nah bro i gotta be top of the food chain if i'm creating something it could never surpass me <laughs> that's all that's just how, that's just me though i'm not creating skynet and robots that can destroy me or anything of the sort but anywho, Vince, you still there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm here. Right. Oh, no. I'll be quiet for a bit. No, I'm saying I could tr I'm ready to transition away from the chapter discussion. Now. We can talk about whatever. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah this, this chapter, though, it just kind of, it's a little bit different from everything else. We're just like, it really is so much going on for me right now. Like, my head is, like, in the clouds. And, like, I'm legitimately going to have to go through this arc probably, like, another two more. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like... This transition from Will of Time, from everything we just went through, to this fiendish magic, and like I'm glad we're here, mm. but also it's just like damn, more stuff, <laughs> <laughs> more stuff for me to remember. Yeah, this is a, this is a series. This is why this is kind of why I like the series too. But this is a series where it's like, I know if I had some years, I would be, I'd be, I my knowledge would be touched up like the rest of, rest of y'all. But like I need to do like I'm gonna. This is a series that I plan on rereading every year. So, yeah, um, it really is. I'm gonna I'm do my reread in, in February because it's dense. It's full of information. It's chock full of information, and it's like one of those series that I absolutely could. I know for a fact when you read it with the four knowledge that you have, it's gonna recontextualize so many earlier scenes. So I'm very excited for that. But um, 
Was there anything particularly you want to talk about? Because remember, we got we got cut short the other time. There was like a, char- a character, or an arc, or anything, a Man, concept. Oh, I hold on. You asked me a question. Did you get to answer the question with the Kubera thing? Did you, did, you, did, you, did you ever find the answer to that? Because we were trying to find out, is he different because he kind of lost his name? Like, does every god, god or nature god or whatever have to have a summoner? Did, did someone summon Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask that, yeah, ask that here. They probably know better. Yeah. Does, does Kubera, the god of Earth, does he have a summoner? Just out of curiosity. It's weird how he would uh, say he would destroy most of the universe, but Kelly did in the first game. Two has the time domain, yeah, and and uh, that's a love by time. Cause I was trying to, cause cause Rita asked me that, cause I was thinking like Chandra and everyone else has a summoner, Agony, everyone else too, and I'm sure there's probably a way for gods to maybe somehow exist or at least temporarily come to like the human realm, if you will, and and like just exist. But remember, Leech found the spell book with something in her childhood. So it, so it is Lee's then. So was I okay? I was right about that then. I was thinking it was Lee's okay. because of the because of that one chapter, but for some reason I wasn't. I just wasn't sure. Right, right. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't. Just, it wasn't, wasn't clicking. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I, that was my that was my best guess. First of all, she has the attribute or anything, but I'm like you're you're not like a priest or a magician, so I'm like. Right. Well, also it got also it got lost upon me because even though I did see that, it's because you see every god is so even the ones that are not like have the best relationship or really they they stick to their summoners. Like a lot, and he does stick to her to an extent. They're always kind of like around the same area. He'll pop up here and there, but he's not there like that. And he po- and he whooped her. <laughs> Remember when he was in the armor and he beat her ass? So I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And they're and, and plus they're always like they're always vigor like, up. You need and you know her place like all the time. Mm-hmm. So there was no way to like. So maybe that was tied to his strength. Why he looks so weak sometimes? Mm. Like I don't know. You know, now that we said that, now now it kind of like ties the stuff back. But, all right. I was like, I was, I was, I just wanted, I just wanted, I wanted, to, at least now we have clarification, so now we know for sure. So now we, now we're, we're there. We okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just lost at the time. We just asked because I was going through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Menu. Um. Yeah, that's 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 an art that got, that's a part that's gonna get me right too. But anywho, like, what I was, what I want, what I, one thing that I want to talk about, um, was. The character of Claude, because I don't think me and you have spoken about him that much, and I'm and I'm kind of interested in your like thoughts and opinions on him, and even currently now that he's like, what happened with him and stuff, because I think he's got a pretty interesting history. He's not one of the more or most interesting characters. He is he does have like that an interesting personality because he's kind of trolly, which I like about him. But what are your like general thoughts about him? You like him? You don't like him? Indifferent? Kind of like whatever. Claude. Wait, who? Uh, why I get lost? Scubera, right? Huh? Claude, Claude. Oh, Claude. Oh, yeah. See, now he, Claude is always the one that I still don't 100% know how I feel about him because I was still trying to figure out what his ultimate goal was other than keeping uh, Lila alive. But obviously he was given some type of prophecy and also the thing keeping Lila alive, was that 100% something he wanted to do? Because now his memory's gone, right? Yeah. Oh, so like, like, was that a, something 100% that he wanted to do or is that Wait, something? Remind, that- refresh your memory. Is his memory gone, or did he lose the vision that he got? Or what, what, what exactly happened? It, well, he lost the vision, but it kind of feels like parts of his like memory has left. stuff that he did, yeah, well, it was gone too. And I guess maybe that it involved it, mm-hmm. maybe to some degree, because it's like I know he cared about because like during a flashback and when he met Brahma, it looks like I think that was Brahma that he met, or whatever, and stuff like that. They met, you know, he was reviving his sister. He wanted his sister back a lot. So we know we care about his sister a lot. Even though they have a weird relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Brahma. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kama Session. Yeah. So we know he wanted to revive his sister. But was he, like, was the the Lila thing just for the vision? Does he actually love Lila? So I thought that was part of it. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, him as a character, it he goes about his deeds kind of the most interesting because honestly you could argue in some ways the way that like even though his his sins and the stuff that he's doing is not any more wicked than what asha or anybody else is doing i honestly i felt like he went about a way in 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 a somewhat more crooked way like the stuff he did to Lee's and stuff like that where he just you know he activated the death spell on him come on dog yeah 
What's up? Because like at least, because at least when Ash is doing it, you know, Ash is not giving you the jokey joke. Oh my bad, I accidentally activated the spell on you or anything like that. Like Ash did it with like full conviction and shit like that. She just knew how it turned out. She's like, I want your heart to stop beating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. She just know how it's gonna play. She's just like you know, she's gonna get revived by Kubera. Like or she knows that she's just like, yeah, like I did this, but like somebody's gonna come and fix it. Yeah, like Claw was doing that, and you just moving very sick with it. So it's just kind of like in some so it made, in some ways it made me like, dislike him a little, bit. but in some ways it was like it also made him kind of like in a in a lot of ways honestly he reminds me of like Loki, like you know the god of mischief, mischief. okay, and shit, shit like that. Like I'm like that's how he's moving. So it makes him a very I'm very lukewarm on. He's not he's not in my top ten. He never probably will be, but I do like him as a character. What he, he has a different dynamic. Yeah, I, you know me. Even his design and all that plays into it. You know me. I uh, I'm a priest and a priestess merchant, so I like them all. No, I feel it though. They're all good characters. I, I'm surprised because even because even a uh, 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 what's his face. I I honestly don't like 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 I have to rack my brain, but it's not a character that I really think Kurigam created as a bad character. If I'm being completely honest, like I'm not like them, <clears throat> like like Lorraine or something, but. Even still, I don't think Lorraine's a bad character. Yeah, because even I mean, even the character, yeah, even the character, she and Ruchi or whatever. Even though I don't like them, she gave the moment. Mm-hmm. Like, especially Ruchi, like now, like Ruchi was the one that summoned a uh, Vayu or whatever. Vayu. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, she's the one, because also the way she did it, also the way they did it, it's like, oh, it's between two people. It's either gonna be, uh, it's either gonna be a uh, uh, Mira. Or, or, or Ruchi, and then it's like, oh, well, Mira died. Mira, Mira, I like, I, 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 I like too, but she's watching the lower end with like Sierra and um thing. But I like, I like her too. But um, I have a, I have an interesting question for the chat and um and you guys too. I think the chat, the chat probably give us some more insight because they, they know more the t- for for now, for now. Y'all enjoy this. I will be more knowledgeable than all of you soon, but. <laughs> Do you think there is a way for Lise to be happy and we get the best possible universe, or it's one way or the other? Because- I think maybe at the end, maybe Curry Gama is gonna give us, even though she, she put it through all this pain. I That's think she's gonna- do, you, do you think at the end she was like, "All right, all this pain was worth it," <laughs> or do you think she comes like, "Nah, this this bear out. I'm 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 drinking the fandom's tears," like, because that's kind of something I wrestle with a lot. Because it to me, it, it all comes across as like. It's either Asha or Lee's. One of them wins, and whoever wins, the other ones like another like like lives a completely miserable, short uh, like life where no one cares to remember them, la yada or like whatever. Like I I feel like one of them. Like, like, I think myself like, is there a way? Like if we went to the second best possible timeline. So here, so here, so here, here, here is my theory that it's not concrete. Maybe all, be that... right with Utah is possible. I don't know. Utah. So Utah, I have Utah, a... so, Sorry, hold on. Utah's someone that I I think about a lot too. Cause I'm like, damn, that boy just trapped in the Sororo. Go ahead. So I have a vision where like maybe there's some there's some like a re- history type rewrite where they get the happy ending where it's kind of like they get like a universal restart. It kind of that vision that Asha had where it was like she would go. And be, um, you know how they had the thing with like Rao brought Asha back and something like that. Blah, blah, blah. But I had it basically where it's just like um, she would go and she would uh, like there would be some future where like Lee gets to, like her parents and like she meets kind of like Asha and Yuta again at like some school or some shit like that. Like that'd be like some happy ending. So way to that it and it's just like they get like, they all get like some reincarnation where they all meet again and, and instead they all friends instead of enemies and all this terrible stuff so that's kind of how i see it i think there will be a happy ending but that's my guess yeah i actually don't know if query is gonna do i don't know because she just likes to torture bro i swear maybe be around with yuda it's hard she keeps reinforcing that the future for lise is bleak if asha stole her future could she steal her miserable future it's kind of what i'm thinking but my, in my head, it's like if Lee's gets to be happy, the universe is not going to be, it's not going to be the best possible timeline or universe or possibility. But if, I, I guess if Asha wins and Lee's life is miserable or whatever the case is, maybe I think Asha, she saves the universe, dies like kind of a, me- a death that no one really remembers, blah, blah, blah. And her life was just kind of miserable. So the friends go ahead. Sorry. No, no. I'm saying maybe Asha and Lee's go hand to hand into extinction. Oh, that's by, the end of, by, by the end of the story. Maybe they're two sides of the same coin. 
Yeah, they go hand in hand yeah. into extinction. Like Asha, I guess maybe like she apologized at the end, and they they both go together, yeah. both die together. Is Asha oh, winning bad? I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's bad. For, I think it's bad for Lee's because if she stole Lee's future. I don't know if I don't know if Asha's um, winning is bad for the universe. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely see, sure. Think, my, see, see, but every time I think about that, Asha winning, what does that mean? What does that entail? And like, what does it look like? Because because Asha's whole thing is that you know they stole her future and she wants to be successful. But what does that mean? Does the universe still exist at that point? If because like obviously like I feel like a little bit like if Leeds wins, the universe exists. If Sakura wins with Anata, the universe looks like it's gonna get destroyed. But what does Asha winning look like? She's the one. What what does that mean? What does Asha winning like? Is it just humans left at that point? Like did, like like are the Suras destroyed? Is Lee's gone? Is it just humans? Or like like what what does that what does Asha's best possible future mean for the universe? Does that mean she just rules everything? Is she just like the queen of Earth? Like what what does that mean? Did she destroy all, all beings superior to her? So every sir and god are gone. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was thinking. I'm just like, did she destroy like everything above her? And what she happens just... if you uh, kill a god, like per permanently like that? Like I know gods have their uh, restrictions and whatnot, but what I mean by that is like, okay, so like, okay, I guess I'll just use God of War and the Kratos gimmick. If, if. When Kratos like destroyed Apollo, the sun kind of got dark, right? When he when when he destroyed um uh, I want to say Neptune. What's wrong? With my what's wrong? With my brain. King of the sea. Poseidon. <laughs> when he gets Poseidon, the oceans level rise. Like with each death of one of the gods, the Greek mythology, whatever they kind of ruled over, it got wonky. So now life and death was skewed. Souls were flying out of the underworld and Elysium, or whatever the case is. So it's like. Do, are gods absolutely necessary for the function and continuation of this earth? If we remove them, if we remove them, does life kind of just become like the way that we live today? Like I, I think about those kind of things sometimes too. Like what happens if they're not there no more? So I don't know what Ash's victory looks like. I'm not entirely sure. So too, she might become that rage. Uh, she might become that raging Anata. Oh, that's. A, I think so. Ashley's Asha's only thinking about herself. Uh, one last god. One last one. Hold on. The last god. I think it's hard to say what the prologue of season three looks like. She will disappear with her name. And she, and, and Kubera and Elise currently has Anata's name. And the significance behind that is going to be interesting to see. Do you think that's going to play into this arc at all? Yeah, it has to, right? It has to. No, she, there's no way. It, it's like the whole title of the you learned she got the name. Oh, also, I forgot that, uh, 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 Asha might be quote unquote tied in, like it kind of implied that Asha might be tied in quote unquote to Brillif and Agni too. So what does that mean? Uh, hold on. Yeah, there are recent chapters of Brahma. If they go back to Paradise, the universe will become barren and cease. Ah, okay. So I guess they need them. Yeah. I don't know. I'm in my Kratos gimmick. Anything, anything stronger than me got to go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if it could, if it could do this and wipe me out of existence, it's got to get stabbed. <laughs> I don't, I don't want it around. Nothing greater than it could exist. You know, so with Asha's newest appearance when we saw her looking the way she looked or whatever, right? What's up, Golden Ace? Like, um Me, I'm good, bro. I'm alright, man. Uh my break was great, so I got the time to refresh, replenish. You know, I'm I'm back, I'm reignited, I'm full of, you know, fuel, so to speak. But I'm good, bro. Uh one piece mid though. Uh so <laughs> Does Asha have a part of Anata in her or something like that? Cause like I kind of remember the scene that I that I that I saw when she used that like her weird arm thing. She like a like a weird attack, and her arm looks weird. I gotta look it up. I'm, I, I think I, I don't know if I dreamed that. I swear sometimes I'll be having fever dreams about shit, bro. Because I'll be I, I won't lie to you. I'd be dreaming about Kumbar. <laughs> I be I be dreaming about it, son. I swear to God, I'll be dreaming about it. Something wrong with me. Uh, Asha is one of the most interesting characters in like in fictional history, in my opinion. Like across any medium that I that I that I've ever seen, I gotta look. I gotta look something up. She stole. She stole a lot of Kubera's Anata's power. Oh, okay, okay. So I thought I was. I, I knew I was a tripping. I I remember her having something related to him. And I and I wonder what the significance of that is. If she has a piece of that, but also Lee's has the name. Is that significant? Is that gonna tie in? Probably. So. 
I think Kubera power and an Octa power mix. That's why she has that form. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, that makes sense. She used spell to revive Tio. Suggested that this is the thing. She's hot new vision three times to make her forget. To make her forget when witnessing a pair of murder shortly before Ash's first appearance. It's 18, not 21. The execution of the trial revealed to Sahar. Blah blah blah. I guess the. I guess. I guess this won't tell me here. I don't think they got the answer, Sway. Is the is the Kubera wiki good? By the way, just out of curiosity, for anybody who's here, do you guys use the wiki at all? Is it good? Is it trustworthy? Uh, I've been on it now that I finished. I think it's like it, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I think it does the job. I think they're not completely caught up to everything from what I've seen, mm -hmm. everything that happened. But it's interesting. Cause I, the the the, the TOG one's not bad at all. So. So I'm just looking for something specific. I'm going through our entire history. <laughs> yeah, give me the answers. Give me the answers. It's all right. It's good for the afterward and Curry God's blog comments. Oh yeah, there's that too. I got. I got. I got to look at that. Look yeah. That. As far as season three content, I don't. I don't. Feel way like caught up to like everything. God damn it! Yeah, I'm not. I'm, they're not really telling me stuff about season three. Ah shit, that's my that's my problem. Yeah, I don't know. I tried. Cause it's not. It's not. They don't have an inner skills and ability section. They don't have it there. I'll I'll go reread that. It's fine. You are right. Remember, there was a Nathalie beside her in that room. Okay, it's alright. It's not crazy. I think Cooper Power. It's alright. It's good after It's okay. Okay. All right. I just want to know if it's. I just want to know if it's. If it's like, should I just not bother? Because there's certain wikis for certain series. But sometimes, I, sometimes I just want to quickly check something. It's not necessarily that I'm depending on it for my. Oh, thank you. You go see my, my guy said season one, season three, um, one seventy one. Let me just pull it up. Let's just pull it up. I said season one. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you recall that part, Vince, what I'm talking about, because I remember them saying something like, she has something related to that, man. You said what? 171? It's, it's crazy. This is like 200 chapters into season three. It's far. We better out here, man, putting in that work. Okay. Wait a time. Found it. I'm gonna I'm a put, put it on the screen briefly. I think you guys should be able to see, you guys should be able to see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, this is not gonna work. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, no, that's. Oh, that's. I'm stupid. This is my. Uh, bro, what? Very serious. Anyways. How dare you? Oh yes, this is in the okay. Yes, this is when they were in that um floating thingy. Okay, and Ran and Thing are fighting. Let me see here now. Can't, I can't guarantee that it'll be a better place in here though. Wait, you said one seventy one. You will see Anada beside her. Oh shit. Oh, I must have missed that. Yeah, I was looking at a lot of that shit. Yeah, I'm looking at it right. I'm trying, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the part. I also wonder. Um, I'm pretty sure she did, but it's like you know, Sagara was looking at all the the text and all the stuff of the records. I'm pretty sure Asha was doing that too while they were there in that space. Mm -hmm. I also wonder if they were ever. Did they ever? Because you're like, it's it's very interesting to me that Maruna and Sagara seem to knew know about Asha like beforehand. So like, were they tracking her down? They knew about her the entire time. I always think they, I always think they're talking crazy about Asha too. Like they could have got rid of her at any time. I said I don't think it would have been as easy as they think it was. Mm -hmm. Like they not careful, they would have got smoked. Like, but like, you know how Maruna talks about like back at the village, like he was trying to get maybe you attempting to get Asha instead of Lee, but Lee jumped in the way, mm -hmm. and that, that that messed him up. 
and like saw girl just like oh that magician like we need to get rid of her like this that and i'm just like i don't know that's gonna be easy as y'all think it is i feel like y'all gonna get smoked <laughs> like honestly like honestly do you really believe that like she might smoke y'all mm-hmm. she, she, just, she just she just she just wasn't right y'all, y'all just not okay so where bro because i'm not seeing when she says see you in n23 right after that okay so that's what we're out here if you see you again in n23 future of life i hope you'll see things a little bit differently then i that this is so faded though that's ran uh is that is, is that him right there here i guess this is him right or that her like i can't even tell bro because it's so faded See right there to her right. Hmm. Mm. Well, there you go. Do you remember the chapter the chapter number? Can you just help me above? Okay, okay, I got you. Can you give me a favor? Can you do you remember the chapter number where um we see Asha come in with the arm, like the weird looking arm? You remember what chapter that is? And give me a second, I'm just gonna pee real quick. Gotta pee. Vince, you're in charge. Alright. Howdy, howdy, party people. The, it's the Vince Kubera stream now. So first order of business, you will all be converted to Asha-ism. So that's number one. You are all Asha stands now. And whether you want to or not, I really don't care. That's number one. All right. Number two. Order of business. Uh, God to Harvard? Yeah. We don't mess with that guy no more. Get him out of here. No more of that, bruh. Yes, sir. You yeah, actually stands for life. Yeah, you're locked in to a life con That's that's number one. You always you always remember that. You love her and hate her? That's that you know, that's that's fine as long as you love her at the end of the day. Love is stronger than hate. Your love for Asha will overcome. Also, we're not going to be enlightened. Because, you know, enlightenment, y'all going to lose y'all empathy and all y'all feelings. You know what I'm saying? We're not taking the road to enlightenment. No enlightened beings here. And another thing, we not learned in fiendish magic, man. Sorry. You know, it, it would have been cool. It would have been badass. Nah. Not too much. Too much to stake there. Yeah, I will never caught that, bro. That's so light. <laughs> I've never caught that. I can barely That's tell true. the same looking panel because it's the one and he disappeared in the next panel. The Asha stands for life. Let's see now, love and I hate her. It's clear on Babel Kim's of uh, Babel Kim's scan, scans. Yeah, I don't know why I went here because I read the way the time. I'm pretty sure did I read most of that on um, Mario not more anyways. Like I should just went here probably right because they actually think there's whatever whatever the cleaners are from this whatever actually i think they actually think they um <laughs> the pictures are like of a higher quality here if i'm being if i'm being completely honest wait did, wait, can you guys see this no yeah i can see it now yeah did it change oh, oh i'm so okay i just like it a little bit uh episode gaze okay so we'll be waited time it's at 171 okay Shing boom, crackle, blah 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 Stop it, Asha! Your body is also disintegrating right now. Let me see. Let me see. Ugh. Let's catch each other again. Bro, are you sure that's clear? <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Okay, actually, I don't know. I don't know. So, I, don't, I, I can't make it. I would have never. I would have never in a million years caught that if no one told me this was here. No, hmm, no, I guess no, I no, 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 it's a little better, I guess. Okay. Look at her summoning him like a Yu Gi Oh card. <laughs> we should like stop. He the ring, like he the ring dragon a raw. I believe y'all. I don't think y'all will trick me. Not in this case. 
could bear to impart. <laughs> the girl tricked me, dog. Yeah, feel me. Okay, let me let me get rid of this. Well, yeah. Shout out to Asha. I think I think I think for some for some reason there's a part of me that thinks because of that like almost in a way whoever can kind of like understand or like I guess again Anana's power on their side they might be the victor but we'll see like that might be my head cannon because see the thing is wasn't Asha's chance for victory already wrong? taken really? yeah and now she just wants to just make sure no one else wins right yeah. I'm like, because her point. thing was, her whole goal was, she was supposed to destroy him before he got resurrected. Yeah, and the one of the one mistakes she was not supposed to make was to make sure that Lorraine didn't live, and she did. So Yeah. yeah. So I wonder if she found a new way yeah. from reading the records or something. And also, I always, I always get interested in the standpoint that they said there's some people who believe they're players, but they're not players. They're not they the, you're not even in the game. Y'all think? Yeah. Y'all, we're, yeah, we're y'all not even on the bench. Y'all in the bleachers. Y'all not even in the game, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, y'all playing imagination. Y'all wish I was number seven out there, all star. Y'all not. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not ready. But okay, now. You know, there's, there's, I think there was one more thing I, I, I want to specifically talk to you about, but it's not coming to me. It was about a, it was about a character. Uh, I stink. My brain is, my brain is awful. Can't remember nothing. <coughs> but, um, yeah, we'll see what happens with Asha and Lee's and see who wins. <coughs> Has it been weird to you to not see her for so long, though? Even though we briefly saw her at the end of the other... Um, thingy, oh, that other thingy, uh, was it enemy? Shit, what arc was that? When, um, Yuta was like, if, if you appear every time that I like, fade away, like, every version of me was happy, blah, blah, blah. But, do you, how, how do you, how do you think, isn't it, isn't it weird to, like, not have your main character, I guess, so to speak, be in the forefront for this long? Like, this is, this is, this is honestly a long time. And I, and I know the, the, the comment section of Webtoon is where's the least every goddamn week, but it's like, if you've been reading this for years in real time, you have not seen her for like three years, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an interesting, interesting storytelling choice. Like, hold hey, on, sorry. she says she got her motion. Wait, do you think Usha shared her name with Maruna? That is just my theory. Can you do that? I mean, if you can, maybe so. Is that why he could use the Crimson Sunshine of Dawn? Or was that already was that already the trend that they were, they were like they were tweaking about? I'm trying to remember now. I don't know. That's a that's a good theory. How could you do that though? I thought gods are one with the name and soul. Could kind of like Kubera, who was Lee's again? <laughs> well, Lee's doesn't doesn't Kubera, the god of Earth, technically like not have his name? Like how did that happen? I forgot. I think he's special since his name got shattered. Is that what happened? That's how you know I need, that's how I need to revisit, especially especially season one and two stuff, like early season two stuff. Like I think I think Frozen Tears and Beyond for the most part, especially like Crime and Punch and Beyond. I remember most things, but I definitely know for like season one up until that point, I definitely need like a proper refresher. Cause I'm gonna take notes when I'm, when I'm doing it this time too. Last time I took screenshots and they helped, but this time I'll take notes. But this time I'm also gonna read Babo Kim's. From the from the from start to finish, so I'll be I'll have a consistent like samey translation instead of going from line webtoon to Bible Kim at some point. You need to go to the blogs too. There's so much that hurts my head. Actually, I got a I have a good amount of the blog posts because the very top comment on line webtoons was somebody always talking about Curry Gum's comment. I actually read them every time when I was reading online. My line went to so I actually now do I remember everything? No, but <laughs> I did read them for the most part. So you're trying to steal Nata's name, similar to how Kanara did to OG Arimata. I never, okay, never clearly stated, but likely him taking Nata's name shattered it. Ah, okay. So it's one of those things where it's implicit, it's not explicitly stated, but it's implied if you're paying attention to a certain degree. Okay, so I'm just I gotta open my mind, but like. I wasn't. I, I was. I probably wasn't as attentive as I should have been from start to finish until the T of death, and then I and then then I was moving differently <laughs> in this story. So, you think T O, you think T O is gonna um play continue to play a significant role, or do you think that Kaz is gonna replace her at some point as a priest of the chaos? Do you, do you ever, uh, I, re I really, I really think Kaz is gonna replace her at some point. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, 
Why does she go through all that? Did we talk about their conversation on on screen? Um, in the last in the last in the last uh podcast. No, we talked we talked we talked about some of the stuff that happened. Like like when you told me like that's the whole reason that I should like revived her, mm-hmm. and I saw I'm like that's insane. That's some crazy level, but no, we didn't talk about it. Oh, that's a really good point, PK. I didn't think about that. That's a good point, actually. Tio's prob Tio's probable probable main thematic role right now is to help Gon Havra change into like whatever version we need him to be for the um, best possible universe. Keep Gandhi away from her. On oh, God, Kinara suffers from uh, suffers yeah. from is a uh, powerful dual name. Okay, that yeah. makes sense too. No, because I was wait, what did I just ask you? Oh, you were asking about the cast and Tio thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just meant too. Like, did we talk about the, the leads and casting on on screen? I know we talked about it myself. But we talked about it on screen. I don't remember. I think me and you both were like, have a pretty interesting comments on it because we were waiting for so long. Like, that, that's a moment that we were like waiting for for a long time. Like, yo, Kaz is alive. Kaz and Lisa finally met, and that conversation was really weird. Like, Kaz is like, damn, like it's better if you're dead, type B. And Lee's kind of just seemed like it is what it is. Like, so many years have gone by, it is what it is. But, like, I really like that moment, though. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you're indifferent. Did you like that? Like, what did you feel when they first finally met after all those years? Lee's taller than him, by the way. Shut I don't know how tall she is, but she's taller than Kaz. She's real tall than him. Hello? Fit. Hmm. Yeah, I got lost. Oh, cool. uh, I checked out. Repeat some of that. Um, your 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 like your general opinion and thoughts when Lee's and the cast finally meet after all those years. No, I always said I always said that shit was that shit was extra weird. But like yeah, so I was talking. I think it was I think it was you I was talking to. Yeah. They were kind of um they were kind of like you know it might have been better if one of they were both kind of thinking at the same time. It'd be better if the other one dies so they wouldn't be feeling like the conflicting emotions that they're going through mm-hmm. because it was just like they both already thought. They were gone. Cause I was like, yeah, they meet each other. I don't think it's gonna be a big happy embrace. This that, and the other, and they just like, ah, you know, that's cast that leads, and they just avoid talking to each other. I'm like, that's crazy. I really thought something was gonna happen, and nothing happened for that. Yeah, I, I thought that was that was crazy. But also, like I said, I still think about the part how Lorraine's thing said nobody in her village died. It said zero. Mm. Where are they at? That's true. I forgot about that. What the fuck? Yeah, like nobody in that village so that so, like yeah, that is that is true. Like what did what happened? I forgot about that right. actually. You just you totally reminded me that 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 was said. I totally forgot. Yeah, and that and that, and but that also brought me back to the concept of the souls. That's why I thought the concept of souls changed the game when she introduced that whole that whole line. That whole theory of thinking and stuff. The, the like soul that. revive a hot yeah. university is not the same as Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That was crazy. That that yeah, was such a that, that was one of the biggest like mic drop. I said, "Yo." Well, but because now I'm thinking, are, is her family souls like floating in space? Did their physical bodies get moved to another area where they reincarnated? Because we got stuff with the ancient humans too. They remember their past lives. If they're not dead, where are they? Also, now that we got Dawn, uh, you know, we know we learned that, uh, you know, you know, Maruna stuff. Did his trans, did, did his transcendental or whatever he used on them. Did it have something to do with what's going on? Mm-hmm. Like, is it not moved to like actually destroy? Did he just move them to a different place in time? What did he do? What did he actually do to them? Because, wow. yeah, because it's like what he could have did was, you know, or like, yeah, or just like, or you got the whole, oh, see, somebody's kind of going. The, the, the village being delusion? Yeah, because I was going with, well, because the lead show tricks herself. With that thing, and also, ah, uh, you know, okay, yeah, okay. But then again, if that's if that's the case, though, so how did uh Kaz exist? Is Kaz real? What's going on with that? Or or was Kaz and the mom only real? It, 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 I guess it depends on, on yeah what you, what you think. Do you think Kaz knew Lee's mother was already dead? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm really, really I'm lie to you. I have no idea. Um, the theory is that the village was an illusion and they're already dead. Okay, Maruna, when he will fight Asha, will mention to Asha he knew someone who took on a name they couldn't hold. That must have been Kanara. And that Asha as well. Okay. Nah, that's a good, that's a good, that's a, I, I, I'm so happy you reminded me of that. that. That's crazy. I, I forgot how, I forgot about that. Like, no one was killed. But that moment to me reminds me of like, 
you know, okay, okay, okay. So you know how the top tattoo like, oh, I love when this subverts, subverts like expectations and we subvert whatever the genre we're turning on the head or whatever. Like this is, to me was like one of those few moments that happened. Like the only other time I can remember like a meeting of two characters crescendoing into this big conflict and I was rubbing my hands and it just fizzled into like nothingness was so I guess Mono Guitar spoilers if you're not you know what I'm saying and these say Mono Guitar me right because of some certain shit that happened Koyomi has beef with this character named Kaiki and when Kaiki and him are finally gonna talk and meet Kaiki Kaiki just like I'm gonna just leave bro bye like dead ass you think, do you think we're gonna have some big climactic shonen showdown blah 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 you don't want me in town listen i made my money i'm gonna just leave and he cut bro that was it there's no fight there was no like ex extremely long extended of dialogue the bro just cut <laughs> so like <laughs> this this is like, oh my god kaz and lee's met and they're both like have obviously gone through their own personal journeys through the, through the course of that time, and they're not the same people no more, and they're both like, a, like the conversation was really weird, but I really liked it, because it's completely subverted that moment on its head, because that's not at all what I expect, I, I would gather most fans expected to happen in that moment. I, I, I think it'll play out fully when we fully understand the character's motivations and what he's about, and we'll understand the true meaning behind it, so it might make sense in hindsight, but it's interesting to think about. Uh, was an illusion of where they are revived with Sura Souls. I don't know. And the, and the village illusions of theory because no human died there. Oh, human. The theory I hear is that Maruna's sister, Kalva or something, attacked the village and Lee summoned Kubera. That's why uh, is hate Garuda Sura that hurt pain. Uh, okay. Did, I'm going to have to... Where do you, when, you, when you guys are like... Talking about theories and stuff like where are you where are you where are you guys at? Are you on a server? Are you on Reddit? Like where are you guys at? Like just out of curiosity, because I think this is a community that I want to be a part of these conversations. Like if there's theories and discussions and talking on Reddit and stuff, I'll look. I don't like Reddit for anything, but if it's like a good a good community in Kubera, I I would I'd pee. We're at we are at your server. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. I need to open I I need to open my Discord up more often. I really don't. I post and I go. But anyways, you got anything to say, Vince? Any any final words? Wrap this up. Ah, uh, nah, not at this time. There's a whole bunch of things I want. Still want to know. We're the gonna village. focus Still on some discussions later on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, want to know what Ash's path to victory looks like? Obviously. Uh, what else do I want to know? Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I think what else in the story do I still want to know? This junction. Oh, the, this, the, the, does Asha really hold the soul of the of, of Rilith and Agni's kid? And what does that have to do? Is, is, it, is it like she actually is the reincarnated child? Or is she just holding the soul of the reincarnated child? Because mm. that's a difference, obviously. Yeah. We, we all know about souls. Um, we still haven't gotten Idra in the, in the present story time. What is that going to look like? Uh, we've seen them all in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't seen the last primordial god yet. We still don't know if Yama is going to be summoned on Earth and what that looks like. There is a lot. A lot to look forward to. Yeah. There's a lot to look forward to. I think Kaz is going to become the Priest of Chaos soon. Will he be the one that... I wonder if he'll be the one that ends up summoning Yama. No, isn't um the Kaz? Yeah. What's their god? There's a god of chaos, so there should be a. a Is this Kali? Yo, yeah. if he summons Kali, I don't think he can. Can he summon a primeval god? Is that, is no, that no, I don't, don't think he got a summon. Oh, also, also, the whole thing with Garuda. Oh, so now that you brought that up, thank you for bringing that up. Kali and Garuda. She had a child with Garuda. What's going on with that? There's obviously a reason she can't set out the love thing. Mm -hmm. And we still don't know why Garuda is in a coma. The last Primeval won't be in the story, Kurt confirmed on. Oh, that's unfortunate. It oh, was he not? Strange. That's kind of sick. I guess, he, oh. I, guess, I guess he's Phantom in him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He just <laughs> run around the story, didn't actually exist. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Well, then, yeah, whatever. I don't need him. He said Shiva won't, Shiva won't um, appear directly. So, but, but, be mentioned. I, 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 what is it? Not in the story. Like, as long as they're mentioned, like, that's fine. It is what it is. It, it be like that. Maybe she tricked y'all. I don't know. Won't she trick you? Won't she change her mind? Won't we see that? 
So, sorry. Just could grab a Garuda and um, Cali, yeah. Very interesting stuff. And you know what? Also, I want to get come full circle too with the Jatai, the, the the girl with Jatai and stuff and everything. Yeah, There's yeah, just yeah, so yeah. many things because Utah Utah still has a lot to, a lot of his character and stuff to be explored. Um, is does he truly love her? Is it really his, his nature and stuff like that? Like, what's the truth behind that? So there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. But I still think this story is probably about seventy percent completed. Yeah, I also minimum sixty five percent. I would say. Well. Also, once she, uh, uh, well, well, my girl Ashura, where Ashura, at? Ashura, come back, please. We need you. You just disappeared. 